One of the things that normally happens when you learn to play the piano is that you learn by playing music that has been written by someone else. Whether that's music by a classical composer or a popular artist, or just the short pieces that are included in a piano lesson method book, the majority of your work goes into learning how to copy and repeat music that someone else has written. But there is also a whole other dimension of music that is just as important and good and valuable, and that is the act of creating music on your own in the moment, spontaneously. And that act is improvisation. Improvisation is music that is created without preparation meaning it is something that happens in the moment that is an instantaneous musical response that is not simply a repetition of something learned by rote or pre-written by another musician. And for this reason, improvisation is often seen as a special kind of skill, maybe even mysterious or mystical, as if it's a special kind of gift that is just given to some and not to others. And also, for this reason, improvisation is not often included in traditional teaching methods. Traditional piano lessons are usually focused primarily on learning pre-written music, unfortunately, sometimes at the expense of improvisation. In traditional learning systems, improvisation is often either pushed off to later years as an advanced musical skill or just assigned to the category of jazz music, as if that is the particular genre where improvisation lives. Or, at worst, improvisation is simply discouraged, because in the context of traditional learning methods, improvisation is a bit like coloring outside of the lines, or like breaking the rules that need to be followed when one is studying the established traditions. And one unfortunate effect of this is that for some students of the piano, this can become a discouragement or even a deterrent to learning the piano. Because improvisation is something that arises out of a person's intuition, as that student discovers the desire to listen to what they are playing and using their own ear to explore the sounds of the piano and create their own music, while at the same time being instructed to ignore their musical intuition and just follow the rules and play what they are told, rather than encourage learning and help the student become a better piano player, it can instead create a real mental and emotional impasse that results in stress for everyone involved and may even come to a breaking point to where the student just quits their learning process or even just quits music completely. Maybe this sounds a little dramatic, but I think many of us might personally know someone that this exact thing has happened to, and maybe that person was you. In my 40 years of studying and performing music, this is a story I've heard countless times from people who quit learning piano and deeply regret it. And it's for this reason that my piano course focuses primarily on improvisation. It's not because I'm trying to make a statement against traditional learning. This is not a replacement for that. It's intended to be a supplement that provides a more complete learning experience. Or for someone who is already trained and capable of playing the piano, but because of the way they were taught, they completely missed out on this dimension of playing the instrument. I created this course because I absolutely believe that improvisation is something that can be taught at any level, including the level of a complete beginner. And the reason I'm certain of this is because of what I believe improvisation is at its very core. It is communication. It is a language that can be taught and learned. Communication, like in the same way that you and I communicate every day whenever we talk to another person. Our own verbal language is something we've learned to do quite naturally, first by learning sounds, and then words, then phrases, and then sentences. We first learn language by hearing and copying those basic elements, and then as we start to communicate for ourselves, we begin to use those words and phrases we've learned, and we begin to put them together in ways that express our thoughts and feelings in the moment. And then when we talk to others, we listen, and we respond spontaneously. And that's what real-time communication is. 
So knowing that spontaneous communication is something that is already inherent in us as human beings, learning to improvise with music is simply applying the same process to a musical context. And in this case, using the notes and the chords that are available on the piano. In the next part of this short video series, I'll show you more specifically what I mean by this. But for now, I'm curious what you think about how improvisation relates to traditional learning methods. What's been your experience with this? If you studied piano in the past, have you seen some of these same things for yourself? Or was your experience different? Let me know in the comments. And if you are enjoying this discussion about learning and playing the piano, please do me a favor and like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you again soon.